We're at the barn and I just wanted to fill you guys in about Lola. Good morning. Good morning guys. Welcome to today. We're just getting st um, started for homeschool, but I wanted to show you a little bit of how our homeschool looks in the morning. The very first thing that we do is we do our read aloud. This is the book that I'm reading to the girls. We're almost done. Um, and uh, all of our animals get in with the, with the homeschool. So I got Macy here on me. Where are the other dogs? Ruby and Cookie. We got Ruby and Cookie down here. I don't know where Toby is. Toby's over and then we got Levi. And then we have a Levi. So he has been shredding his basket here. This is his basket. Right, there's Toby. Um, but anyway, Levi has been shredded. This is his basket. It's his to shred. It's got all of his toys, a bunch of toys in it. Um, he will come every morning while I read, and he'll either grab a piece of his basket and sit there and shred it, or he'll grab some toys out of there and he'll sit there. For as long as I'm reading, he sits there, quiet as a mouse, just shredding and playing with his toys. Yeah, I'm talking about you, dude. Don't don't get crazy now. Yeah, it's like the weirdest thing. Like he's settled into our homeschool routine so good. All morning he sits there and plays. As long as I'm reading, he just hangs out. Every day gets so good with Levi. Like every day he changes and learns. And before he if I was out of the room, he would like throw a fit and run to his cage and then be noisy until he could get to me again. And today we left the room because we were busy and he went to his cage like normal and he was so quiet. And just like with kids, <laughs> when they're quiet, you know it means bad things are happening. So essentially, he found his bag of treats, carried them onto his crate, and is happily <coughs> munching away on his treats. <laughs> Dude, that, <laughs> thanks for helping yourself. Yeah, so, yeah. You brat. So I don't know where the rest of the treats are. Must have ate them. Yeah, you are a naughty, naughty boy, but because we love well, you so I much. Think there was only <laughs> one left in there. He's so naughty, you guys, what but so that? lovable. We're at the barn, and I just wanted to fill you guys in about Lola. She is still in the hospital. She is doing a little bit better today. The fact that she's pregnant obviously is a complication that makes treating colic a little bit harder. Um, anyway, she definitely is doing a little bit better, so continue to pray, guys, because it is so working. We don't know how long she's gonna be in the hospital. It's gonna be a m massive bill, obviously. Um, for those of you guys that have dealt with colic, you know what that's like. Um, I just feel really bad because Fiona just closed her business. Fiona had to close her business recently and basically I just don't know how she's going to handle this. Some of you guys have suggested that we do a GoFundMe page for her and I think that that is such an amazing idea and I, so many of you guys mentioned it that I think I am going to do that for her. We'll definitely contribute as well because it's important. It's an important thing for me and I want to support her. She's meant so much to us. Right so? Mm -hmm. And um, that's what it's there for. It's to help people in need. Who better to help than a horse close to our hearts, right? If you guys make a donation, you're saving two lives. Lola yeah. and her baby. Yeah, like that's amazing. But anyway, <laughs> don't feel pressured to do it because I totally understand. I, I don't even like to ask people to contribute to anything like that at all. Like that is so far from who I am. And we have merch and we never even promote it just because I feel weird. It just feels weird to ask people to support us that way. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share the link with you. I'm gonna get Sam to put it up and I'll share the link here for any of you guys who are interested in. Thank you so much though, all of you. You guys have, um, your prayers have made such a difference already. And so many of you guys came to rally around her and to pray for her and that means the most to me. Click the thumbs up if you love Lola. I'm yeah. Lola. And her foal. <laughs> <laughs> He's friendly. He's like, I'm coming with you guys. Well, I think we saw him yesterday being rode, did we? He's a pretty boy. Oh, he is so nice. I, you. I don't know what color he is. He's like a blonde. No, he's chestnut. Okay, he's a light chestnut then. So or, or light bay, but like bays have like I got nothing for you. Mom, bays have like black bays. 
He's pretty. Looks like I'll eat your camera. There are a lot of people attached to this camera. You would not want to eat them. I love how Storm waits till Gabby gets like five feet from her and then walks to her. So even though there's not like a ton of grass in where Stella is, she legitimately stands out there all day eating. So she's getting a lot of grass. Like she's getting enough grass. Hey mom, her and the pony are friends. Oh, Storm this looks so loose. Like his joints and his muscles and everything they're just like all flowy and loose like a teenager just like kind of reminds me of Gabby actually with those long legs just flopping all around yeah he loves his girl look at he looks like he has tire marks on his back <gasps> oh yeah that's from the saddle pad what no that's all his hair is missing no yeah there's no way that's from saddle Makes those marks. He okay. had these marks yesterday. Mm, yeah, that's not cool. I don't know what that is. That is bothering me. Yeah, he had more. That's a gelding field. No, it's a mare. Oh. They're all mares. You don't see the thing. Oh, good gosh. So you have <laughs> What? What did you just say? That's a mare. How do you know? Because I love that mare and I can <laughs> see the boobies. Okay. Is that your friend Stella? You want to be in with her? Come around, don't I? And I know sometimes I'm bringing you down, but I always make you smile, don't I? I never thought I'd be like at a point where I'm worried about how much weight they're gaining. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Uh, but this guy has a pouch now, too. Yeah, and you want her to have him to have a muscle, but I'm worried that your saddle's not gonna fit. He has a half anyways. Well, he has a cut on his eye. Oh, I know. That's old. Yeah. You were a little mess of babies. Never getting boring when we keep coming for the stars. Just you and me. Oh, we always get back up again. You and me. Hold the money there. Pretend you got the money. We always get back up again. We're a little messed up, baby. Kind of up and down, and we keep falling till we hit the ground. But then we, oh, we get back up again. Yeah, we're a little messed up, baby. It's never getting boring when we keep coming for the stars. Just
For next week, what's your what's your uh, lesson? Cross rails, galloping. So you have to practice cross rails and galloping. Galloping, cross rails. Storms gallop. Can you gallop? Is canter. Can you gallop? I've galloped on storm before. Storm, can you gallop? He has uh, galloped. He only gallops when I have a dressage ride. I don't think he gallops. I think he just like tries to run. Mm -hmm. All right, well, cool him down, man. Wait. Cool her down, cool him down. I feel like my life is over as I know it. Like, seriously, like, ugh. this has been such a stressful day. So, ugh. so basically my lesson got cut short. I wasn't able to ride last week because um, I didn't have a saddle. We were gonna use Fiona's other saddle, but then I decided at the last minute today to try Sophie's saddle, and then Storm was saying like, something's hurting on me. Something is hurting. And my instructor said like, get off. 
And so she did a check and she said that it just needs an adjustment because um, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, well you've all noticed, but Gabby rides sideways. She's crooked, probably because she's growing so fast and so many things are changing. But yeah, so she's kind of pushed him out of alignment. Um, so, Can I go so yeah, he only is showing pain with me because I'm heavier, so I'm pushing on his back. Like everything bad is happening. What a bad day. Is it? Mm -hmm. Bad day? Yeah. We're stormy boy. Lots of bad. Is it coming threes already? It's already three all in one day. Oh. Perfect. Tomorrow's a better day. I mean it could be worse if I couldn't my horse could have colic. But I just feel like with Stella and all her issues it's overwhelming and then and now Storm. I mean he's an easy fix and that's okay, but I'm gonna get that done. Call the chiropractor. Right, here. Yeah, so Gabby's all upset. Everybody's upset. It's just been a terrible day. It's just not one of my favorite days ever. Gabby's so upset. Like, it's just, it's just sad. It's hard when your horse is sore, huh? I mean, he's not overly sore. It's just that he did look at me too. It's so funny. Like, I sat down on him and he put his head back and he looked at me all slow and like, what are you doing? He's like a patient, oh, cut. He's like such a patient good boy. He'd rather just tell me than throw a fit. And other people are probably like, it's just an adjustment, who cares? And we're all like freaking out. This horse over here is interested. Aw, bye-bye, love. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.